Hypoxia is defined as a deficiency of oxygen in the body tissues, and cerebral hypoxia is a decrease in oxygen supply to the brain. Hypoxia can be classified on a scale from mild to extreme, and in this video we're going to look at how to help mild to moderate cases stemming from issues like high altitude exposure, sleep apnea, and the current widespread use of breathing restriction devices. A study found that skydivers experience hypoxia as they exit planes between 13 and 14,000 feet. They also cite previous studies in unpressurized aircraft above 12,500 feet in which mildly hypoxic pilots exhibited twice the rate of procedural errors as compared to normally oxygenated subjects. Even mild hypoxia results in oxidative stress, which causes inflammation, and according to the National Institutes of Health, symptoms of mild cerebral hypoxia include inattentiveness, poor judgment, memory loss, and a decrease in motor coordination. Brain cells are extremely sensitive to oxygen deprivation. At altitude, this effect will be even more pronounced with activities that require exertion, such as mountain climbing, because your body needs more oxygen with exercise, work, and movement. This is where acetyl-L-carnitine, or ALCAR, comes into play. In this study, we see that exposure to hypobaric hypoxia, which is the simulation of high altitude conditions, is known to be associated with brain degeneration and memory impairment. However, when ALCAR was administered during the hypoxic conditions, they noted a decrease in free radical generation and overall oxidation, along with an increase in reduced glutathione levels. The second study also points to the importance of glutathione in this process, where it says, Pretreatment with ALCAR significantly diminished hypoxia-induced cell toxicity and improved cellular glutathione levels. Glutathione, as you may know from watching some of my previous videos, is the body's master antioxidant and detoxifier. It's produced internally in your body's cells and is capable of eliminating poisons like heavy metals, dangerous toxins of all sorts, and free radicals, otherwise known as oxidative stress. So increasing glutathione levels is one way that taking Alcar can reduce the symptoms of hypoxic stress. But when we take a look back at the second study, it looks like there's an additional factor at play. Here they note that supplementation of Alcar, on the other hand, upregulated nerve growth factor. And later they note that it stimulates nerve growth factor receptors, thus triggering a cell survival pathway. And that Alcar may be useful as an effective therapeutic agent for hypoxic stress and associated neurodegenerative diseases. So in addition to increasing levels of glutathione, it looks like Alcar is able to rescue oxygen-deprived cells in part by increasing levels of nerve growth factor, which has been shown to be a potent survival factor for brain and nervous system cells, or neurons. Personally, I've been taking Alcar for several months. I tolerate it very well, and it helps keep me on task, make quick decisions, and it feels like my brain has more energy overall. Alcar is actually part of my five-part glutathione stack in which I combine whey protein and glycine in a smoothie and take NAC on the side to load up on the amino acids that serve as raw materials for glutathione production. Then I add lion's mane mushroom to the smoothie which increases the production of nerve growth factor and also take Alcar on the side which increases NGF receptors, taking advantage of little known research in which NGF increases glutathione levels in both the body and brain. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.